Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? My name is Itumile Mwera, and I'm from Lesotho. All right. Thank you for watching, and thank you for tuning in. Let's get this thing rolling. Today, we're going to talk about uh, cults, church cults. And I'm going to react on Jackie Pamote and J. Israel's conversations. If you haven't seen the video that is going around uh, there, if you are not Jackie Pamote's fan and you haven't watched her lives, please go search for her on YouTube, right? That video is very long. It took about two hours, if I'm not mistaken. So I was just intrigued about what she was discussing with this man. Um, I realized that uh, us black people, us black nations, especially Africans, we are so afraid of talking about the topics that we feel like they are controversial. We rather sweep these things under the rug, pretend as if they are not happening. But my people, they do really are happening. And I give a uh, High five to Jackie for exposing these things because I feel like what she's saying is what I feel like I, I wanted to say. Uh, church cards is real, guys. People leave their churches because of what's going on in churches. There are lots of going on in churches. That is the truth. We cannot deny it. And we know most of these pastors, they are really fake. They are not here to serve the people. They are not here to serve their people. They are not here to spread the word of God, but only to use people, to misuse people, and uh, just for their own benefits and to gain financially from us, right? So because somehow they play this magic and pretend that there are miracles happening, people fall for that. And they do follow these people religiously. I mean, they can defend these people with their blood, but we all know. Okay, let me make an example about what's happening in South Africa, like right next to our to us, that is like next to, it is our neighborhood. What happened there happens to us. We go to Bushiri's um, uh, uh, churches. We take buses. We go there because we believe that he has powers. We take buses to go to Pretoria uh, to go and to worship with this guy, especially on December. in December. He used to help on a prayers, prayers of miracles and stuff. People will leave this country, my country, Lesotho, to go to Pretoria with buses, by buses, right? All right. So I know they even right now, after he escaped, after he has been investigated, they were defending this guy with their lives. Do you understand? But we do know what's going on in churches. Uh, uh, this is not new topic, guys. It is really not new. It's just that people do not go into depth about the church cards. They only uh, look out for on the service, like uh, how these guys get their money. That's the only thing that they're interested in. These people use money laundering and stuff like that. But really, really, there's more going on in these churches. There's sexual abuse. There's emotional abuse. There's physical abuse. And these people, they call themselves uh, uh, the leaders of the churches, but they, 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 they misuse their congregation and everything. For somebody who's gullible, who falls for their shit, they go and do these things and they misuse their trust. Okay, Even in America, there are TV shows that expose church cults. Recently, the, the newest uh, TV show, uh, it was about Leah Many, if I'm not mistaken. She was exposing Scientology. We all know that celebrities like Tom Cruise and everybody, they were devotees of Scientology. And people come out and say, no, that is not a church, that is a cult. They do this, they want to... Uh, every Every money that you owe, it goes to them. It is them who, who, who tells you what to do with your money, with your salary. You take everything to that church. You do everything according to their rules. There are rules to be followed. And if you don't follow the rules, if you bro break any of those uh, rules, there are consequences. 
Do you understand? So how is that a really church? No, that is not church. That is cult. These people are really using that. So this girl, Leah, she was one of the members, though she was exposing what's going on. Uh, the TV show, it is called Scientology and the Aftermath. You can Google it, you'll find the truth. And there's another one that it is called uh, Escaping the Prophet. Uh, this one, it is another lady. Her name is Flora Jessop, if I'm not if I'm, if I'm pro, um, pronouncing that word right. So she is also was a member of uh, a fundamentalist church of Jesus Christ of the Latter Day Saints. It's a very long, long story. So she is exposing the years that she endured uh, in this church, the pains, the physical abuses, the sexual abuse, and the mental abuse in that religious group right so you can watch these shows guys they really go deep the american shows and i'm just saying this thing is not only happening with us black people africans my people it is happening all around the world so america has been exposing these cars um i remember there was a time I used to watch TV religiously, and most of the things I would watch through Oprah TV show. So there was an episode where Oprah was uh, I, uh, was interviewing one of the escapees from one of the groups. Then they will explain how they were being treated, and they ran away and they're afraid of their life. Then they needed security somewhere where they could feel secure because if you run away from that, they're gonna come and get you and they're gonna <clears throat> physically assault you for running away and exposing them. That's when it first started. Then there was another TV show. This one, it was called Returning to Mammoth, uh, Mammoth. It was about this uh, religious group that is Mammoth. So the kids, they, they wanted to be liberated. They want to escape that religious uh that religious uh background they wa they they didn't watch t v they don't watch t v they make everything from scratch they saw their own clothes uh they 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 produce their own food it is a good thing i'm not disputing how they they do that they live like that they live a very uh rich life because and they get all the nutrition they don't watch tv they didn't know anybody who's a celebrity they didn't know justin bieber's they didn't know any music they had never heard of any music so i don't know who introduced them to the real world and outside world then these people they were taken out of that religious group and they were taken to the real world somewhere in new york so the others will turn into models others will turn they'll do what they wanted to do they feel like they wanted to do they took off the clothes the mammoth clothes and then they put their the <clears throat> the, the clothes that we all wear all right so uh i'm just saying these things are real my people these things are real and it's not all the churches that is a cult or running some shandy uh businesses no some 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 of the churches they are really 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 good churches they are really the that they preach what they 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 do what they preach basically so but we should be careful of the churches we attend that is the truth. We have to be very, very careful because you might enter into a lens there thinking you're going for for religious, you're thinking you're wanting to find God and everything else. I'm Catholic. Even in Catholic Church, there are, there are those that are run back hard. Like, there are rules sometimes we won't understand. If you maybe, for example, you fall pregnant out of a lock, it is a taboo. We have to go through thorough cleansing and other thing, and your parents will be taken out if they are members of <clears throat> any church group. They will be taken off. They will be stripped their powers because they are child. So 
this is many and then if you don't pay for certain things you pay for so many things if you don't pay and then when you need to be helped with something maybe your kids need to be baptized they might not baptize your child because it's still oh and you understand that we are so poor here we just want god to help us so that we can live sinly but we are they are now into money just like anybody else. You are forced to pay. If you don't pay, then you leave. Or you no longer go to church. Or you just go to church just like somebody else. And our parents are so educated, dedicated to this religious group. If you are not a member, you, you feel like you are an outsider. So I'm just saying the church class is real. Let's be careful. Let's not stay away from real real life issues guys because the things that we shy away from it is the things that hurt us most and which is going to go even to our children even when we're gone so let's be vigilant my purple and thanks for watching see you next time bye bye